Hello Linux gamers, welcome back to another video. Since I posted about using the Steam Deck as a sim racing PC, there have been some requests to make a video on how to install out of tree kernel drivers for Camus wheels on the deck. In this video, I will show you how to do that. Before we get into this video, I request all the viewers to subscribe to my channel as 90% of the viewers are not subscribed and your subscription helps me stay motivated to make such information filled content. With that said, let's get right into it. First, I switch to desktop mode as you can already see here. Then open the console terminal and make sure to set a password for the default username which is deck. For that, I will use the command password deck but those who have already set a password can skip this step you can find all the commands used in this video through my github gist link in the video description below once we have the password set for the username we need to unlock the root file system of the steam deck using this command I have it already unlocked so I am getting this message. However, beware that after every update the root file system will be locked again and you may lose the drivers. So you will have to unlock the root file system and install the drivers again. Next we need to initiate the keyrings and populate them. Then find the kernel version used on this root file system so we can install the correct headers package. As you can see I have Linux kernel 6.1 installed so I will have to find the corresponding headers package for this kernel version. To do that I will search for the package using this command. Here I can see the exact package name of the kernel. So I will copy it and add the suffix dash headers along with some more packages. This is what the entire command will be. Right now I already have them installed. So I am going to say no to reinstalling them. Next I will move to the downloads directory and clone some AUR packages that can be used after every update. Cloning the universal PIDFF DKMS package and installing it. This package contains multiple device drivers for sim racing steering wheels. Now let's look at the D message while I turn on the camera C12 wheel. Here we can see that force feedback for USB HID PID device is detected. If you also have camera CP5 pedals then you will need a UDEV rule for it to be detected as a joystick device. For that I will clone the camera rules package from the AOR and install it. Next, let's look at the EV test. Here you can see that the wheel is working as in access. So let's try to launch Assetto Corsa Competizione and see if force speed track will work or not.
In Steam game, you have to make sure that Steam input is disabled under controller settings. Once inside the game, I will have to assign all the axes to stair, throttle, brake and also other buttons like ignition. However, let's drive and see if the force feedback is working. Yes, the force feedback is working fine. I hope this video will help you in installing out of tree kernel drivers on your Steam Deck. Using the exact same method, you should be able to install Fanatec, Trustmaster or any other device drivers on your deck. If this video helped you in any way, then please like and share this video with your gamer friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get alerts for all the upcoming gaming on Linux related videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.